Hello, Financial Futures Community. Today, we've got a crucial update that you need to know. This is Financial Futures, the channel that keeps you ahead of the financial game. If you haven't subscribed yet, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button below because I'm here for you every single day, providing the latest updates and advocating on your behalf. Now, let's jump right into it. In today's video, we're breaking down the details of a significant change to Social Security, the 5.2% increase to the Social Security maximum taxable earnings in 2024. This is the kind of information that impacts many of us, and I've got all the details you need to know. So, let's get right into it. First off, what exactly is the Social Security maximum taxable earnings, and who does it impact? This is a crucial aspect of Social Security that changes every year, and 2024 is no exception. The maximum taxable earnings represent the cap on how much income is taxable by Social Security. Any income up to this threshold is subject to Social Security taxes, while any income beyond that level is no longer taxable. In 2023, the maximum taxable earnings were set at $160,200. But here's the news. For 2024, this threshold has increased by a significant 5.2%, bringing it up to $168,600. That's an $8,400 increase from the previous year. So, if your income is up to or beyond $168,600 in 2024, you'll be paying Social Security taxes on all of that income. Now, let's break down what this means for you. If, for instance, your income in 2024 is $170,000, you would pay Social Security payroll taxes on the first $168,600. The remaining $1,400 the difference between $168,600 and $170,000 would no longer be subject to Social Security payroll taxes. It's like a small break for higher income individuals. But let's be clear this change primarily affects higher income earners. For the majority with income below $168,600, Social Security taxes apply to the entire income. It's crucial to understand that this is just one part of the broader social security landscape. Now, why does this matter for social security and its trust fund? Well, more money will be going into the social security trust fund from higher income individuals. However, it's essential to note that only a tiny percentage of the working population earns above this threshold, roughly 3%. So, realistically, it's impacting a small pool of workers. How does it impact Social Security beneficiaries? If you're already receiving benefits, it won't affect your benefit directly. However, it may have a minimal effect on pushing out Social Security insolvency slightly into the future. The impact is limited due to the relatively small pool of workers affected and the additional funds generated. Looking ahead, there are discussions about further changes, such as raising the cap or implementing a donut hole effect in Social Security taxes. These proposals aim to include higher income individuals in paying Social Security taxes on more of their income. In conclusion, 2024 is indeed the year of Social Security changes. I'll be here, keeping you informed, advocating on your behalf, and breaking down the complexities. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with your community, and subscribe for more updates. Let's jump into our next topic. I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. Before we dive into today's content, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up it really helps out the channel. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing for more updates. Now, let's jump into the latest developments. First up, we need to talk about the ongoing feud between Donald Trump and Nikki Haley regarding Social Security. Trump recently released an ad claiming that Haley's plan would cut benefits for 82% of Americans. Let's fact-check that, 
and see how much truth there is to these claims. In the ad, Trump states that Haley's plan cuts Social Security benefits for 82% of Americans. The Tampa Bay Times did a fact check on this claim, and here's what they found. The fact check reveals that Trump's ad is an extreme exaggeration. Haley's plan would primarily impact younger Americans, not those currently or soon to be receiving benefits. The 82% figure seems to be a rough estimate of the total Americans eligible for Social Security benefits, not those directly affected by Haley's plan. So, while the impact would be significant, it's crucial to understand that the 82% figure is misleading. Now, let's move on to the next pressing issue. Breaking news on the international front a drone strike by an Iran-backed group has resulted in the tragic deaths of three U.S. troops. President Biden has promised retaliation, raising concerns about potential escalation. Let's delve into the details. Biden stated that the U.S. shall respond and attributed the attack to Iran-backed militias. The question now is, what form will this retaliation take, and what could it mean for the future? Several Republican lawmakers are urging the Biden administration to take stronger action. They argue that previous responses have been insufficient, leading to this unfortunate incident. Chairman Turner emphasizes the need for serious action against Iran and the terrorist groups they fund. The situation is tense, and the potential consequences could be significant. As tensions rise, the world is watching to see how the Biden administration responds. What are your thoughts on the appropriate U.S. retaliation against Iran and its backed groups? Share your opinions in the comments below. And if you found this video informative, please give it a like and subscribe for more updates. Thanks for tuning in to Financial Futures. I'll see you in the next video.